bonding in homonuclear diatomic molecules first molecule is h2 molecule okay it contains two hydrogen atom and each hydrogen atom contains one s orbitals with one electron each okay so the electronic configuration of molecular orbitals will be electronic configuration will be sigma 1s 2 okay both the electrons are filled in the sigma 1s molecular orbital okay so what will be the bond order bond order equal 1 by 2 into nb minus na okay this is equal to 1 by 2 into nb is 2 there is no electron in the anti bonding molecular orbital so 0 so this is equal to 1 this means that bond order 1 means it contains one covalent bond single covalent bond okay now the bond dissociation energy bond dissociation energy is 458 kilojoule mole inverse 458 kilojoule mole inverse okay now bond length is 74 pm okay bond length 74 pm now it contains no unpaired electrons that means the molecule is diamagnetic okay molecule is diamagnetic now let us draw the molecular orbital diagram energy okay oneness of one hydrogen atom then molecular orbitals Okay, this is oneness, oneness, oneness atomic orbitals contains one electron each. Okay, they combine and form sigma oneness and sigma star oneness. Okay, so both the electrons are filled in sigma oneness. So this will, this will be the molecular orbital diagram of H2 molecule. Okay, molecular orbital diagram. Second one, helium molecule, HE2 molecule. This is an hypothetical, uh, whether this HE2 molecule is exist or not, we have to find, okay. So, HE2 molecule means each uh, helium atom contains two electrons. So, the electronic configuration will be sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2, okay. Both bonding and anti-bonding molecular orbitals are filled. So, bond order will be equal to 1 by 2 into bonding 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. So bond order 0 means the molecule is unstable and HE2 molecule does not exist. Okay. And also we can say this is diamagnetic because there is no unpaired electron. It is diamagnetic. And in the case of molecular orbital, molecular orbital diagram will be like this. Okay. Sigma oneness, sigma star oneness. Okay. Two electrons here, two electrons here. Okay. So total four. This will be the molecular orbital diagram for HE2 molecule. Okay. Next, molecular orbital configuration of second period elements. First molecule Li2 and the molecular orbital configuration is like this. Sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2, sigma 2s2. Bond order is 1. Using the formula, we can calculate the bond order. And it contains no unpaired electron. So, it is diamagnetic. Second one, Be2. Electronic configuration is sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2, sigma 2s2 and sigma star 2s2. 2s2 bond order is 0 so the molecule does not exist next b2 the order is like this okay sigma 2p z is having more energy than pi 2p x and pi 2p y so sigma 1s2 sigma star 1s2 sigma 2s2 sigma star 2s2 pi 2p x and pi 2p y same energy one electron each it contains unpaired electron so it is paramagnetic and bond order is 1 Okay, next is C2. 
same or uh, same uh, energy order sigma 1 s 2 sigma star 1 s 2 sigma 2 s 2 sigma star 2 s 2 pi 2 px and pi 2 py two electrons each and the bond order is 2 it contains no unpaired electrons so it is diamagnetic okay now let us discuss few more example in the second period elements okay next n2 molecule n2 molecule okay the order the increasing order of energy will be same as as in b2 and c2 okay so n2 contains 14 electrons so the electronic configuration sigma 1s2 sigma star 1s2 sigma 2s2 sigma star 2s2 then 2pz will come after pi so pi 2px then pi 2py having the same energy so 6 7 8 9 10 12 so now sigma 2pz contains two electrons okay the molecule is diamagnetic okay because it contains no unpaired electrons next we can calculate the bond order bond order equal 1 by 2 into nb minus na okay so 1 by 2 into nb bonding molecular orbital contains 2 plus 2 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 electrons minus number of electrons in anti-bonding molecular orbitals is 4 10 minus 4 so 6 by 2 is 3 so n uh, the covalent bonding is it is a triple bond because bond order is 3 so n triple bond n okay it is a uh, it contains triple bond and it is diamagnetic in nature next example next molecule o2 it contains 16 electrons okay so the configuration one sigma 1 s2 sigma star 1 s2 sigma 2 s2 sigma star 2 s2 then sigma 2 pz the order will be like this okay o2 f2 ne2 all are having the order sigma 2 pz will be uh, uh, first then pi okay pi 2 px pi 2 py okay two electrons then comes pi star 2 px and pi star 2 py okay so 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 16 electrons so there are two unpaired electrons so the compound is uh, paramagnetic okay o2 molecule is paramagnetic in nature so bond order equal 1 by 2 into nb minus na is equal to 1 by 2 into nb 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 minus antibonding 4 5 6 okay so 1 by 2 into 4 2. this means o double bond o the covalent bonding is the bond is a double bond okay and the molecule is diamond paramagnetic okay because it contains unpaired electrons now next this uh, paramagnetic property is experimentally also proven okay then f2 18 electrons sigma 1 s 2 sigma star 1 s 2 sigma 2 s 2 sigma star 2 s 2 okay sigma 2 pz 2 pi 2 px same order okay 2 pi 2 py 2 then pi star 2 px 2 then pi star 2 py 2 it is diamagnetic because no unpaired electron and the bond order is 1 by 2 into nb 10 minus 8 so 1 by 2 into 2 so this is equal to 1 so the bond is single bond 
and the compound is diamagnetic. Okay. Next is Ne two. Ne two. Ne two contains twenty electrons. Okay. So configuration sigma one is two, sigma star one is two, sigma two is two. Sigma star 2s2, same order. Sigma 2pz2, pi 2px2, pi 2py2, then pi star 2px2, pi star 2py2. Two more electrons, so that is filled in sigma 2pz. Okay, two. 20 electrons are filled. So, what will be the bond order? Bond order equal 1 by 2 into 10 minus 10. That is 0. This means this molecule does not exist. Okay. These are some of the examples of homonuclear diatomic molecules. The uh, bonding in homonuclear diatomic molecules. Okay.